hi hello everyone hope you all are fine at home and stay safe anyway we are starting the online sections so now i'll discuss about the anatomy of rectum in this section i will be discussing its features relations interior of rectum blood supply innovation and clinical relevance coming to this uh, rectum in this figure you can see this area this is the rectum that is the distal segment of the large intestine we know the parts of the large intestine are cecum ascending colon transverse colon descending and sigmoid colon so this rectum extends proximally with the uh, sigmoid colon and distally it terminates into this anal canal the junction here in between the rectum and anal canal this is the anorectal junction the junction between the sigmoid colon and the rectum that is the recto sigmoid junction the length of the rectum that is 12 cm the diameter at the level of this recto sigmoid junction recto sigmoid junction is 4 cm so rectum extends from the recto sigmoid junction to the anorectal junction okay it is uh, distinct from the large intestine or the colon with an absence of this appendicis epiploica tinea colae this uh, hostra or saculations these are absent in this rectum okay then to know about the location of the rectum we should have an idea about the bony pelvis okay the part of the parts of the pelvis the bony pelvis it consists of two hip bones this is the right and left hip bones okay then posteriorly there is the sacrum then sacral vertebra then uh, inferior to the sacrum there you can see the coccygeal vertebra coccyx okay so posteriorly medial there is the sacrum and the coccyx each sides you can see these are the two hip bones okay part of this hip bones are this is the ilium this part is the pubis and this is the ischium okay then coming to this pelvic inlet we should know the boundaries of the pelvic inlet see this is the pelvic inlet okay what is seen in the posterior layer, you can see that is with that orange color that is the sacral promontory the sharp margin of the sacrum body of the sacrum with the green color that area that is the margin of the ala of the sacrum that forms the posterior margin see the anteriorly i already told these the body of the pubis okay which articulates and forms a joint here that is the pubic symphysis okay that part is the pubic symphysis okay the upper part of the pubic symphysis that you can see there is the upper border of the body that forms the pubic crust okay that is with the purple color then in the anteriorly with that green blue color that is the pectin pubis that is the border of the ramus of the pubis and the red color area that is the arcuate line that is also the border of the ilium so anteriorly you can see pubic crust pectin pubis and arcuate line posteriorly you can see that is the sacral promontory and ala this forms the pelvic inlet okay then pelvic outlet okay so this is the pelvic outlet here you can see in this figure you can see the pelvic outlet this is the inferior view of the pelvis okay see this is the posterior you can see the lower part of the coccyx okay here in the anteriorly here you can see this is the inferior margin of the pubic symphysis its sides you can see this is the ischial tuberosities this is the ischial pubic ramus ischial pubic ramus okay that forms the pubic arch so this is the pubic arch anteriorly then sides see the sides it's there is a ligament there that is that uh, white color which connects so from the ischial tuberosity to the sacrum ischial tuberosity to the sacrum this ligament is the sacrotuberous ligament that forms the lateral boundary so this is the pelvic outlet okay i need to tell the lesser pelvis okay so lesser pelvis that is between this pelvic inlet and the outlet see the pelvic inlet you are already seen the outlet the part between that forms the pelvic cavity that is the lesser pelvis or true pelvis the part above this pelvic inlet this region that is the greater pelvis or false pelvis so location of this uh, rectum the rectum lies in the 
lesser pelvis okay so back to this image in this uh, figure you can see this is the sagittal view of the female pelvis okay so this is sagittal view of the female pelvis okay here this is the this area this is the rectum okay here this is the lesser pelvis okay this is the anterior this is the pubic bones here posteriorly you can see this is the sacral vertebrae first second third fourth fifth segments of the sacral vertebrae then here you can see this is the coccyx so rectum lies in front of the s3 segment here this is the s3 segment this is lies in front of the x3 segment till at the level of the tip of the coccyx here till at the level of the tip of the coccyx it lies two to three centimeter in front of the tip of the coccyx from the s3 to the tip of the coccyx so this region this part this is the rectum here you can see this is the anal canal anal canal okay this opening this is the anal orifice here here anterior to the rectum you can see this is the uterus that is the body of the uterus this is the cervix of the uterus okay here you can see this is the vagina this is the vaginal orifice anterior to the uterus this is the, again you can see this is the urinary bladder this is the urethra you can see this is the urethral orifice okay so the uh, rectum extends from the level of this s3 segment till the tip of the coccyx okay then here you can see in this this is the sagittal view of uh, male pelvis here you can see this is the sagittal view of the male pelvis okay see this is the rectum here you can see this is the anal canal okay anterior to the rectum you can see this the urinary bladder see the urinary bladder then you can see this is the ureter can see ureter then see this one important structure this is prostrate then here you can see this is the seminal vesicle then you can see this is the urethra urethra this is the external urethra orifice can see this is the anal canal see this is the anal canal okay then this is the anal orifice can see this is the anal orifice okay so this is the sagittal view of the male pelvis and some structures relates to the anterior of this rectum okay so location of the rectum that is here that is in the lesser pelvis okay then here in this figure you can see the superior view of this uh, pelvis male and the female pelvis okay here this is the parts of the large intestine can see this is a sigmoid colon here you can see this is the rectum anterior to the rectum this is the urinary bladder then here you can see peritoneal folds with some structures and all here in case of those uh, female pelvis okay this is the sigmoid colon see this is the rectum anterior this is the uterus this is the body of the uterus this is the cervix this anterior to the uterus this one is this is the urinary bladder okay then coming to the curvatures of the rectum actually the meaning of the rectum that is straight but it is not straight in humans it shows some anteroposterior and lateral curvatures in in this figure you can see there is the this is the sagittal view here this is the this rectum okay here this is the anal canal okay this is the anorectal junction you can see the muscle there that is the muscle that is in the brown color that is the puborectalis muscle which maintains an angle that is the rectal uh, pu anorectal angle of 80 degree here this is the this vertebra this is the part of the coccyx here posteriorly we'll get the three segments slow three segments of the sacral vertebrae okay coming to this flexures here you can see this is the sacral flexure this is the sacral flexure which lies in the concavity of this sacral vertebrae okay then here in the anterior aspect here you can see this is the perianal flexure where the rectum bends downwards and backwards it is bending downwards and backwards okay forming a flexure that is the perianal flexure so anteriorly that will get the perianal flexure posteriorly will get this uh, sacral flexure okay 
Then in this figure, you can see both the perianal flexure and uh, both this uh, anteroposterior curvatures and the lateral curvatures. In the first figure, you can see this is the sacral flexure and this is the perianal flexure or perianal curvature. Okay. In the second, in the second uh, image, that is the coronal view of the rectum, that you can see the lateral curvature. See, this is the right side. This is the left side. Okay, left, uh, left aspect. In the right, there is upper lateral curvature. See, this is the upper lateral curvature and lower lateral curvature. So, right, there is upper right and upper lower lateral curvatures. In the left side, there is a middle curvature, middle lateral curvatures. So, the lateral curvatures are upper and lower lateral curvatures and middle lateral curvatures that you can see in the coronal view. Okay, anteroposterior curvatures you can see in the sagittal view. Anteroposterior curvatures are here, there is the sacral curvature and perineal or perianal flexure. Okay. Then, coming to its relations of the rectum, there is peritoneal relations and the visceral relations. First, we will discuss about this. So, uh, peritoneal relations. So, I already discussed uh, about this peritoneum and all. Okay, here this is the upper one third, this is the middle one third, this is the lower one third. The upper one third, in the upper one third, in the upper one third, okay, in the upper one third, this peritoneum can see in the anterior and lateral surface of the rectum. In the middle one third, the middle one third, peritoneum can see only in the anterior aspect of the rectum. Okay, then in the lower one third, it is non-peritoneal in cases of both males and females. Okay, you can see in the peritoneum in the anterior and lateral aspects of the rectum only in the upper one third. In the lower one third, it is a non-peritoneal. Coming to this visceral relations. Coming to this uh, visceral relations in case of the males. Okay, see the anterior anteriorly see this is the anterior aspect this is the posterior actually anteriorly you can see the important structure this is the urinary bladder urinary bladder here the red color area that is the prostate this is the seminal vesicle this is the vast difference then here you can see this is the this is the ureter okay this forms the anterior relations in case of uh, males okay then here in females, this is the sagittal view of the female pelvis. Here you can see this is the this part is the rectum. This is the rectum. Anteriorly, you can see this is the uterus body, cervix of the uterus. Then this is the vagina. This is the urinary bladder. This is the urethra. You can see. Okay. This forms the anterior relations. Okay, anterior visceral relations in case of females. Okay, then one more thing. This uh, I already told about this peritoneal relations. Okay, it covers in the anterior and lateral aspects of the upper one third of the rectum, middle one third you can see in the anterior. Okay, here you can see this is peritoneum. This is the peritoneal fold. It reflects to the posterior and upper aspect of this uterus forming. A, that forming a fold that is called the recto uterine fold and forms a pouch here that is a depression here that is the recto uterine pouch of Douglas that is the recto uterine pouch of the Douglas okay this peritoneum is reflecting uh, towards the posterior and superior aspect of the uterus forming a pouch that is called the recto uterine pouch in case of this uh, males also, this uh, peritoneum, here you can see this is peritoneum, it's reflected towards the posterior and upper aspect of this urinary bladder forming, this is the recto uterine fold of peritoneum and this pouch here that is called the recto vesicle pouch. This comes under the peritoneal relations, this recto vesicle pouch in case of this males and the recto uterine pouch in case of this uh, females okay that's about the peritoneal relations and visceral relations visceral relations we have talked about the anterior relations 
then posterior relations posterior relations in this figure you can see this is the posterior relations of the posterior relations of the rectum see this is the vertebra this is the sacrum here you can see this is the coccyx in relates to the sacrum and coccyx you can see muscles this is the levator vein coccygis and piriformis okay then can arteries can see there is a median there is a median sacral artery will be there then there is a lateral sacral artery see the lateral sacral arteries then one important structure this is the sympathetic trunk you can see sympathetic trunk okay these forms these forms the posterior relations okay the posterior relations are the sympathetic trunk sympathetic trunk median sacral artery then this one lateral sacral arteries then this piriformis this is a coccygis and this is the levator vein then here you can see this is the anococcygeal ligament is that anococcygeal ligament that is a fibrous raphe which extends from the coccyx tip of the coccyx towards the sides or the margins of this anal canal that is the anococcygeal ligament or anococcygeal raphe these are the relations okay so these are the posterior relations then this is the visceral relations and in this figure you can see the visceral anterior relations okay in male c once again the anterior relations are here this is the rectum anteriorly in case of males this is the urinary bladder seminal vesicle prostrate this is the ureter okay this peritoneal reflection here towards the posterior and superior aspect of the urinary bladder forms the recto vesical pouch okay in uh, case of females here you can see this is the this is the rectum anteriorly there is the uterus body of the uterus this is the cervix this is the vagina here this is the bladder urethra okay this forms the anterior relations okay then posterior relations this is the posterior relations of the rectum that's all about the posterior relations of rectum okay then coming to this interior of the rectum okay interior you can see is numerous mucosa folds will be there some are permanent some are temporary mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, temporary folds that uh, obviously that will disappear when it gets distended the permanent mucosal folds are called the valves of hosten or hosten's valve permanent mucosal folds these are transverse folds semi lunar transverse folds okay you can see here semi lunar transverse folds okay see the upper fold upper fold here you can see the upper fold at the level of the s3 segment okay the recto sigmoid junction and it lies some 12 cm above from this anal orifice that is the upper fold okay then this is the middle fold see the middle fold see this is the middle fold you can see the you can see this is the middle fold okay it it uh, lies on the right wall so this is the right side this is the left wall okay so this middle fold it projects from the right wall it lies some 10 cm above this anal cm average of 10 cm above the anal orifice this middle fold is a constant fold and it's important significant constant fold see here you can see this is the lower fold this is the lower fold this is the fold here okay this lies some 2.5 cm below the middle fold this lower fold lies some 2.5 cm below the middle fold okay this is also in constant this middle fold is the constant folds okay mm -hmm. which lies from the right wall this upper fold and lower fold which projects from the left wall this projects from the left wall 
okay then sometimes there is a uh, fourth fold will be there that is projects from the right wall just about 2.5 cm from the middle fold okay that uh, that is a fourth fold will be there so in interior you can see this is the interior you can see numerous not numerous uh, some mucosal folds will be there M importantly some three mucosal folds transverse mucosal folds there those are called the host and swell it supports the rectum it supports the rectum and also helps to shorten the length of rectum okay that is the importance of this host and swell then then next is the blood supply first we'll discuss about this arterial supply in this figure you can see this is the superior rectal artery is there superior rectal artery that is the branch of this inferior mesenteric artery continuous of the superior rectal artery then there is a middle rectal there middle rectal that is a branch from this internal iliac then the lower you can see this is the inferior rectal inferior rectal that is a branch from this internal parental so these are the main arteries supplying the rectum superior rectal this is superior rectal this is the middle rectal and this is the inferior rectal artery additional to that there is a median sacral artery will be there median sacral artery that is from the that is from the abdominal aorta okay median sacral that about the arterial supply then the venous drainage venous drainage so here you can see the veins accompany the arteries okay here there is the superior rectal vein there some six radical veins joins to form the superior rectal veins okay which drains into the inferior mesenteric vein see drains into the inferior mesenteric vein in the middle you can see this is the middle rectal vein which joins into the internal iliac veins Okay. In the lower, you can see this is the inferior rectal veins, which drains into the internal pudendal veins. So, there is venous drainage to the superior rectal, middle rectal and inferior rectal veins. This forms some plexus in the inner aspect of the rectum, the mucosa, that is called the internal rectal venous plexus. And also forms some plexus outside the muscular cord that is called the external rectal venous plexus. So that's about the venous drainage. Okay. Then lymphatic drainage. So the lymphatics from the rectum mainly drains into the pararectal lymph nodes. Okay. The upper two third and the lower one third directly drains into the internal iliac lymph nodes. Okay, some lymph goes into this superficial inconal lymph nodes, mainly to the pararectal lymph nodes, that is to the inferior mesenteric nodes. Then uh, the lower part drains into the internal iliac nodes. That's about the lymphatic drainage. Then it's nerve supply. Nerve supply, there is sympathetic and parasympathetic. Yes. This is sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic is from the L1 and L2. Parasympathetic is from segment S2, S3, S4, okay, through pelvic splanchnos, through the pelvic splanchnos, okay. Actually, the uh, feeling of distension and the fullness of the rectum goes through this parasympathetic pathway, but the pain sensations pass through both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, okay. That about the nerve supply. Then. Rectal examination or the rectal digital examination is the examination of the interior of the rectum by a healthcare provider. It's okay to palpate the structures in males can palpate. This is the prostate, mainly prostate, seminal vesicles to know. It is a diagnostic procedure to know about uh, the prostatic disorders or the prostatic hypertrophy in case of males. In females can palpate. This is the cervix, mainly the cervix. The posteriorly in both sexes can palpate the sacrum and this one, it's a coccyx. Okay. This procedure, this is called the rectal digital examination. Okay. That's all about this uh, rectum. In this section, we are discussed about this uh, uh, location, location, extent, 
location extent curvatures relations uh, then blood supply then the applied some applied aspects of the rectum so hope you understood anyway uh, write down this uh, you should uh, write answer for this uh, question that is the described rectum under the following endings extent that is from it extends at from which level to which level that is from the recto sigmoid junction to this anorectal junction with the figure you should explain that it's curvatures okay with the help of the figure you should explain the anteroposterior and lateral curvatures then hostens well that you can see in the interior of the rectum okay which are the mucosal folds permanent transverse mucosal folds you can see in the interior okay additional to that you add about the relations okay i forgot to mention here that is the relations of the uh, rectum that is the visceral relations and the peritoneal relations of the rectum then blood supply and the applied aspects applied aspects you should add about this uh, rectal digital examination and add something about this uh, rectal prolapse find out that okay yes Thank you.